morning everybody today we discuss a new topic that is absorption of drug first of all we discuss the definition of absorption the process of movement of unchanged drug from the site of administration to the systemic circulation is called as absorption the effectiveness of the drug can only be assessed by its concentration in the site of action it is difficult to measure the drug concentration at such site the concentration can be measured more correctly in plasma as there always a correlation between the plasma concentration of drug and therapeutic response these are the st structure of cell already we are studying anatomy now the mechanism of drug absorption it is also called as a passage of drug across the membrane the first mechanism is passive diffusion second is pore transport third is the ion pair transport in ion pore transport facilitated diffusion and active transport and fourth one is endocytosis in endocytosis it is categorized as a phagocytosis transcutosis pinocytosis let's we discuss one by one mechanism of drug absorption first one is the passive diffusion it is also called as diffusion the it is movement of higher concentration to the lower concentration the major process of the absorption of more than 90% of the drug is follow the passive diffusion it is non ionic diffusion the driving force that is concentration gradient as you know the concentration gradient means movement of drug from high concentration to lower concentration it is also called as electrochemical gradient difference in the drug concentration on either side of the membrane the drug movement is a result of kinetic energy of molecule here you see in diagram that is concentration of drug in one side is higher and concentration of drug in another side is lower so that is movement of high concentration of drug to the lower concentration of drug it's follow mathematically fix first law of diffusion we know the equation for fix first law of diffusion that is dq by dt is equal to capital d capital a into capital k m by w in bracket cgit minus c bracket complete divided by h here dq by dt is the rate of drug diffusion capital d is the diffusion coefficient of the drug capital a is the surface area of the absorbing membrane for drug diffusion capital k is the partition coefficient of drug between the lipoidal membrane and the aqueous gi fluid in bracket c git minus c is the difference in the concentration of drug in the gi fluid and the plasma h is the thickness of the membrane here is you the h is inversely proportional and the remaining one that is d a k 
and in bracket C G I T minus C is directly proportional to D Q by D T. So characteristic of passive diffusion is it is energy independent. Greater the area, lesser the thickness of membrane, and faster the diffusion. So as we uh, see in previous equation, that is thickness is inversely proportional, and area is the directly proportional. The process is rapid over for short distance. The concentration equal on both the side of the membrane and equilibrium is attained. So at that time the process is stopped. So uh, one side always the concentration remain low. That must be required. And it is called as a sink condition. Right? The greater the passive concentration of the drug, faster the absorption. The passively absorbed drug enter the blood rapidly swept away and distribute into the large volume of body fluid. Hence, the concentration of drug at the absorption site CGIT is maintained greater than the concentration in the plasma. So, it is called as a sink condition. Remember that thing. The concentration at absorption site is always higher and the concentration in the plasma is always lower. That's why it is called as a sink condition and it is necessary for movement of drug from higher concentration to lower concentration. Under unusual absorption condition, we have the D, capital D, capital A, capital K, M by W and H, these are the constant, and that's why their value of that constant we combine and to put a one constant that is P, that is called as a permeability coefficient. The permeability that is easy with which a drug can penetrate or diffuse through the membrane due to the same condition. The C is very small in comparison to CGIT. So the equation is modified and it is converted into simple equation dQ by dt is equal to capital P C G I T. Here the concentration of C at the longer distance or in a plasma it is negligible value. So it is omitting from the equation. So equation 2 is expressed for the first order process. Thus the passive diffusion follow the first order kinetic. The second mechanism is the pore transport. It is also called as a convenient transport bulk flow or filtration. The mechanism is through the protein channel present in the cell membrane. The drug permeation through the pore transport that is renal excretion removal of the drug from CSF and entry of the drug into the liver are the example of pore transport. The driving force here is the osmotic pressure difference across the membrane. The bulk flow of the water along with the small solid molecule through the aqueous channel. Then the water flux that promotes such a transport is called as a solvent drag. The process is important in the absorption of low molecular weight. The drug or particle which have size less than 100 Dalton. That is low molecular size smaller than the diameter of the pore then generally the water soluble drug through narrow aqueous fill channel or pore it is transferred that is by this mechanism the example are urea water and sugar here 
द चैन लाइक और लिनियर कंपाउंड विच हैव मोलिकुलर साइज दैट इज ग्रेटर देन हंड्रेड एंड अप टू द फोर हंड्रेड डाल्टन देन इट इज ट्रांसफर बाय फिल्ट्रेशन थर्ड वन इज द आयन पेड ट्रांसपोर्ट द रिस्पॉन्सिबल फॉर एब्जॉर्बन ऑफ कंपाउंड विच आयोनाइज एट ऑल पी एच द एग्जाम्पल इज कॉटन एंड एमोनियम कंपाउंड देन सल्फोनिक एसिड द आयन आयोनाइज मोएटी फ्रॉम द न्यूट्रल कॉम्प्लेक्स विथ एंडोजीनियस आयन विच हैव बोथ द रिक्वायर लिपोफिलिसिटी एंड एक्वस सोल्यूबिलिटी फॉर पेसिव डिफ्यूजन द एग्जाम्पल आर प्रोपेनोल a basic drug that form a iron pen with oleic acid and is absorbed by this mechanism the carrier mediated transport involve a carrier which reversibly bind to the solute molecule and form a solute carrier complex this molecules transfer across the membrane to the other side and dissociate and yield the solute molecule the carrier then return to the original side to accept a new molecule these are two type of carrier mediated transport the first one is facilitated diffusion and second is active transport so you see in diagram carrier mediated transport the drug they are bind with the carrier and the carrier they are transfer from drug from one side to another side and it is release out the drug from the other side and the carrier is again take place its original place facilitated diffusion the facilitated diffusion is the form of carrier transport that does not require the expenditure of cell energy the carrier are numerous in number and are found dissolved in cell membrane the driving force is concentration to gradient the particle move from a region of higher concentration to lower concentration the transport is aided by the integral membrane protein the facilitated diffusion mediated the absorption of some simple sugar steroid amino acid and pyrimidine from the small intestine and their subsequent transport across the cell membrane active transport as you know the name suggests the active means the energy is required which is provided by the hydrolysis of atp so the atp is converted into adp plus p that phosphate provide the energy for that function more commonly metabolic energy is provided by the active transport of sodium or it's depend on the electrochemical gradient process by the sodium pump here you see in active transport the drug from extracellular fluid is transferred from one side to another side of the cell by using the energy and that energy get from atp that atp destroy and release the phosphate that is atp is converted into adp plus p this transport require energy in the form of atp the primary active transport the characteristic is direct atp is required the process transfer only one ion or molecule only in the one direction that's why it is called a unipole here the example of absorption of glucose secondary secondary active transport the characteristic no direct requirement of atp 
the energy requirement in the transporting an iron aids transport of another iron or molecule either in the same direction or opposite direction it is two type that is co transport it is also called as symport counter transport it is also called as antipode here seen a uh, diagram the left side that is antipode and the right side it is symport endocytosis it is the process in which the cell absorb molecule by engulfing them it is also term as a vesicular transport it is occur by three mechanism phagocytosis pinocytosis and transcytosis phagocytosis so here the different step are explained the first one that is chemotoxic and adherence of microbes to phagocytes the second step is ingestion of microbes by phagocytes the third is formation of phagosome and fourth one is fusion of phagosome with lysosome to form a phago lysosome the fifth one is digestion digestion of ingestion microbes by enzyme and sixth one is formation of residual body containing indigenous material and last one is discharge of waste material transcytosis it is the process through which the various macromolecules are transferred across the cell membrane they are captured in the vesicles on one side of the cell and the endocytic vesicles is transferred from one extracellular compartment to another generally used for the transport of insulin these are the example pinocytosis it is the formation of endocytosis in which the small particles are brought to the cell forming a invagination the small particle are suspended in small vesicles its energy required in the form of atp its work as a phagocytosis the only difference being it is non specific in the substance its transport this process is important in the absorption of oil soluble vitamin in the uptake of nutrition Thank you.